welcome to yet another event by Hi TV. And today we are here at the final day of the Future Leaders Conference where awards for outstanding role models, both young and old, will be given out, along with a module on outstanding role models being released. So stay tuned as we speak to the outstanding role models who have gathered here. that reconciliation is a cornerstone of sustainable peace, underpinned by universally important values including equality and respect for minorities. They're the same values that help provide the foundations for peaceful and prosperous countries everywhere. They're what allow us all to enjoy our individual freedoms, to lead varied lives, to live in diverse communities, and to do these things while living peacefully and harmoniously alongside one another. I'm very pleased to see today that you have completed yet another annual conference to bring together youth from around the country. And this evening we will recognize your role models and also as youth role models. I am sure the role models are an inspiration to all of you. Mr. Kushil Gunasekar, how are you feeling, sir? Great, lovely evening, yeah, very nice and inspiring. So, as per our conversation, uh, you mentioned that you have been part of Sri Lanka Unites for quite some time and have been a recipient of the Outstanding Leader Award in the past few years. How did your journey with Sri Lanka Unites start? Um, actually, I had by that time started the Foundation of Goodness, so I think uh, Prashant got to know about us and then he wanted me to help him out and then I think I became a trustee at the time and since then the journey has been incredible. So if you could maybe elaborate on how we as individuals can further the conversation of reconciliation and sense of community between different races and religions. I think we have to treat everyone as mankind and serve equally uh, without any discrimination. Uh, and I think leading by example is the key. with me Mr. Tulit. How are you feeling today? I feel great, feel special. Congratulations on being awarded an outstanding leader for 2022. 
So, uh, if you can just speak a little bit about your journey with Sri Lanka Unites, that would be really great. Uh, so, Sri Lanka Unites, I understand it as a very nice positive movement because the, the youth in Sri Lanka today really needs to see positiveness because we are, from the time you wake up until you go to bed these days, you, you are surrounded by so much of negativity. But if what I really love about Sri Lanka Unites is that positive shower that they give you, like there's always a better Sri Lanka. So, I kind of really stand by that. So, as individuals, how do you think that everyone at home can do their part to push forth um, community, uh, com the sense of community and, you know, uh, reconciliation? Yeah, so, sense of community is any entrepreneur, right? I mean, the, what I like about Sri Lankan is how they uh, recognize entrepreneurship. Every entrepreneur plays a part of an entire ecosystem in Sri Lanka. You are not just one man just running one company, right? You are you're really supporting a whole grid of people under you and it affects not only Sri Lanka and the ent entire region and some, some of our business affect the whole world. So it's all about positivity. I have with me Miss Otara. How are you feeling today? I'm good, thank you. It's nice to be here. Congratulations on being awarded an outstanding leader. So as an individual, how do you think we can push forth uh, a sense of community and cooperation between races and religions? Well, I mean, I think what Sri Lanka Unites is uh, doing is very good, you know, building the youth to, to bring change and to bring um, new ways of, of, um, of living together, working together and, being in, um, and um, living in harmony together. And I think it's a great movement and uh, yes, yeah, so I'm happy to be here and support them and of course I'm grateful for them for giving me the award. I have with me Mr. Harpo Gunaratna. Mr. Harpo, if you could just maybe elaborate on your journey with Sri Lanka Unites and the stuff that you've been doing together. Yeah, so Sri Lanka Unites and I go back about four or five years now and uh, I've been working with them and you know, doing stuff where we, we, we contribute to the development of the younger, younger generation and younger folk. In 2019, uh, straight after the Easter Sunday bombing, you know, I reached out to them because we wanted to do something as a community uh, in one of our restaurant properties and at the Dutch hospital actually. And uh, all of us came together and uh, made a significant contribution to Sri Lanka Unites because, uh, you know, it was, as we all know, it was one of the worst disasters the country has seen. And since then, I've been working with Sri Lanka Unites on Shark Tank and stuff of that nature, actually empowering the younger youth and the new generation, which is actually which we have to look at, you know, and motivating the younger generation, giving them hope, which I think lots of people have lost at this time, you know, and we want to give them hope and say there is a brighter future, there is a brighter Sri Lanka, and stay in Sri Lanka and pool your resources together. There's so much a talent and in, in, in Sri Lanka, you know, and we have to use that talent for the betterment of Sri Lanka. Congratulations, by the way, on uh, being awarded an outstanding Sri Lankan role model. As individuals, how do you think we can contribute to build that sense of community and, you know, go past barriers of race and religion? You see, at the end of the day, we're all human, you know, see, and uh, we, we have to treat everybody like as human beings, you know. I don't believe in this race and all that kind of thing, you know. At, at we come together, we go as one, you know. So for me, I think personally, I, I, I have a diversified of people working in my organization, you know, and we are Sri Lankans, right? Uh, so that's what's important. We are Sri Lankans, that we have to be together. And uh, I promote that, as I said, in my organization, and uh, everyone's equal as far as I'm concerned. You know, and I like to treat people equally and give people more opportunities in life. And that's what my motivation is actually. I have with me Mr. Azam Amin. Uh, how are you feeling today, sir? I'm uh, very happy that uh, I've been uh, recognized as a young role model. So there's a lot to go. So and uh, I've been inspired with a lot of good work done by uh, Sri Lanka Unites over the last uh, you know, 10 years and uh, you know it's a privilege that uh, to get honored by them. Um, if you could just elaborate on your journey with Sri Lanka Unites and how it started. Uh, I mean I've been only helping them with media you know covering uh, their stories and the peace building stuff especially uh, after the war there was a lot of activities in Sri Lanka Unites uh, in the northern part of Sri Lanka where we uh, along with uh, you know our, our international coverage we, we were able to uh, give some coverage for the good work they do. So how do you feel as individuals we can contribute to the conversation of reconciliation and peace? Exactly, I think it's very important that uh, you know as Sri Lankans we all uh, you know forget uh, our you know uh, we have to uh, you know forget our old past and all the things and unite and work towards a 
Better Sri Lanka. I have with me Prashan Divisa, who is the president of Sri Lanka Unites. So, uh, Prashan, if you can just elaborate on how this whole um, Sri Lanka Unites uh, community started. So it was 14 years ago, we felt that young people needed a platform uh, to build moderate ideas of a united, inclusive Sri Lanka. Extremist organizations always had their voices heard, but moderate organizations were silent. So we created a platform, a charismatic movement of young people who are passionate about transforming this nation. So for everyone at home, how, how does one become part of Sri Lanka Unites? Just go on our website, www.srilankaunites.org, and you can volunteer, you can get involved. We always have ways for you. We have 20 departments, 20 different ways, whether you're a musician or an entrepreneur or an academic. Anyway, you can invest in the next generation of Sri Lankans. I have with me Dr. Malivige, who is doing such incredible work, both locally and globally. How are you feeling today? Good, good, yeah. Congratulations on being awarded. If you can elaborate on all the incredible things that you've been doing, both locally and globally, for everyone at home to know. Uh, uh, I don't know, well, <laughs> how, uh, what we are doing is uh, what we are passionate about. And it's always been my dream as a child to become a scientist. And so that's what we've been doing, and uh, doing that really excites me. And uh, and this was an opportunity, especially. Uh, I mean, we were working on dengue earlier. Now, when COVID came, uh, yeah, that was something that we could do to uh, something which we knew about to help others. You know, like could come in. So, uh, so I'm really glad if we could do something. And uh, yeah, I, I'm re really like what what I'm doing. So yes, okay. yes, yeah. yeah. So how do you feel as individuals, we can do our part uh, to push forth the conversation on reconciliation and the sense of community? Yeah, I mean, I think that's a very, very important thing at this juncture. And unfortunately, we saw a little bit of uh, that during COVID times, how it affected uh, uh, certain groups of people, which is uh, quite sad. And I think if as a country, if we are to move forward, if you are not going, if you if you think that any person or any group of people, it's, it's not just about ethnicity. I'm, I'm not talking about ethnicity here at all, but I'm talking about uh, in Sri Lanka. There are so much divisions and not sharing. Uh, when it in all uh, aspects, you know, like in all professions. So I think uh, if if people don't work together. Uh, then it's, it's a huge problem for us to go forward as individuals. So, uh, so I think uh, a lot of people don't want to work with others, collaborate with others uh, because of selfish reasons, uh, because they want it all for themselves. But I think if you, for selfish reasons, uh, you need to collaborate and work with others and help others out. Because if you want something good happening to you, it has to happen to everybody else. You can't go forward without everybody else going forward. Thank you for joining us. Nisri Gursingha, signing out. <laughs>